Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I thought I would talk a little bit about what I do as my full-time job. Now if you were thinking I was a YouTube person full-time, you got like no way. I'm not doing this full-time. YouTube is more my hobby and kind of what I do on the side. What I do for my full-time job is I work as a program manager at Microsoft. My official title is Senior Program Manager. I guess the senior means I kind of know what I'm doing. I don't know. Um, but what that means, so a program manager, what that means is I'm basically a business owner and I work on the product office.com and I also work on the office app. Those are two products that I'm responsible for. And when I say that I'm a business owner, I decide where do we make our investments, what are our customers asking for, how are people using the products, are the products available, are they working as they should. Um, so that's all the kind of stuff I do. But today what I want to do is I want to show two of the things uh, that I've been working on recently uh, in this role. Um, so why don't we jump on a PC and you could follow along if you have a Microsoft account and you could see what these new experiences look like. Um, so here I am on my desktop and I actually want to pull up what the experience used to look like. And if you use Word, Excel, PowerPoint or any of those apps, this is going to look very familiar to you. So I'm just going to open my browser um, and this is the start page for Microsoft Word. Now Excel, PowerPoint have similar start pages to what you see here. Now, some of the kind of drawbacks of this is <clears throat> you have recent documents, and that's the reason a lot of people uh, load this, uh, load up Word, Excel, PowerPoint to continue working on something, but they're kind of squeezed in on the left-hand side, and you have all these massive templates. And I don't know, I, I don't really use templates that often, and it uses up about 80% of the space on my screen. So those are the existing start pages. So now what we're going to do is I've got a browser window open here, and we're going to go to office.com. And I said you could follow along. You just go to office.com. And by the way, if you have Word, Excel, PowerPoint, you could also access it through office.com. So I'm going to click on sign in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in with my just one of my test accounts that I have. And I'm going to go ahead and type in a pat my password that I have. And so here I am on office.com now. And so I mentioned that two things have changed. So one of the nice things is if you come to office.com, what you can do is now with just a single click, you can create a new Word, Excel, PowerPoint document if I just click on start new. Um, so we brought that button in into the home page. And you know, here I can create a new Word document, Excel, PowerPoint. I'll just click on you know create new Word and we can see what happens. Um, so here this launches uh, Word. And now I could just create a document um, just like anywhere else. And I could access this anywhere I have a browser. Um, so I'm going to go back to uh, office.com on the home page. And uh, you know, previously I showed you what the old Word start page looked like. And I want to show you what the new one looks like now. Now this is available to everyone. If you go to office.com, you'll have access to this. Typically what we do at Microsoft is when we first roll out something new, it'll take some time before we push it out to all users. This is now available to all users. So I'm going to click on Word. Um, and you'll see the new start page here. So what you do is, you know, you could create new blank. You have a few templates here. The templates are kind of cut down, um, so you don't see as many right up front. But, you know, if you want to see more, you can simply click on more templates, and then you see a full view of all your templates that you have. And if you really want a lot of templates, there's also an option where you could click on Explore All Templates. So I'm going to go back. Um, if it turns out that you're like me and you don't use templates that often, what you could do is you could simply click on Hide Templates, and that'll reduce that section. And now you have this new uh, blank document button, uh, and you have this split button where you could also create new from a template. Um, so I'll, I'll show that again. Um, what you could also do is you can, um, here I could upload a document to the cloud and start working on it directly. And you also have this document section. What's kind of nice is I could see all the recent documents I've worked on. So kind of a lot more space allocated towards getting back to my content. You know, here I have a separate view of everything that I've pinned. And then I could also see content that other people have shared with me. Um, I don't have any right now, but that would show up there. Um, under recent, what I could do is I could pin things. I could remove it from the list. I could open the file location. So lots of things that I could do. Now I'm gonna go back to office.com. I'll click into Word. Um, or sorry, I was just in Word. I'll click into Excel. Um, here's the Excel start page. So you'll see that the start page is very similar. I'll click in the PowerPoint here too. It's also very similar. And check out the performance. When I click on Word, it just pops right up. I click on Excel, it just pops right up. Keep in mind, I'm on. I'm in a web browser here, and it's just lightning fast. So it's just coming up super, super quickly. Um, but so that's that's a new Word, Excel, PowerPoint uh, start pages that you have. You can access them via office.com. Um, but that's a little bit of kind of new experience on what I've been doing at Microsoft recently. This just rolled out, so it's really hot off the press. You can now see this new experience via office.com today. And uh, you could work on documents, spreadsheets, presentations, whatever you want to do. 
Um, and because I did work on this at Microsoft, if you have any feedback on it, if there are things you like about it, if there are things you don't like about it, feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, I read all the comments that come in. Um, so if you love something, if you hate something, like hey, even if you hate something, um, it's something we can improve upon and, and make better. So uh, just let me know down in the comments below. Um, what you could also do is there's a feedback button here on office.com. This is probably a better approach, um, but you could also submit feedback from here and that also goes to me and then also the broader team where we, uh, we read that feedback that's coming in. Um, so anyway, just a little bit about what I've been doing at Microsoft recently. I uh, just wanted to share that um, since sometimes I'll disappear from YouTube a little while because work picks up and I'm mainly focused on that. Um, but so I just wanted to share some of the things that are going on. Um, if you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification as new videos like this come out. And if there are any other video topics that you want to see, anything else you want to learn about office.com or you know the different apps, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create in the future. And hey, that's all I had for you today. Uh, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.